Hello and welcome to another episode of Driveway Dudes. Today we're going to join two pieces of coax cable together. There are several ways you can join the cable together and if you have connectors like F connectors then you can put these on and then you have a little what's called a bullet joiner so two F connectors one on each end of the cable and just twist them together but just say you don't have any F connectors and this is the way that I would do it so you get the first cable measure along the length of your finger using the box knife then you would just cut just lightly until you get through the insulation bend it back and you'll see the screen or braiding or shield and just pull it off fold back the screen and do that on both cables that's both cables done now and next we'll do is we'll allow about one knuckle of your finger and mark it there again using the box knife go around the cable just cutting in gently but not too much and twist and pull that'll expose the center of the cable again do it with both cables and then we go from there next now we'll put on the gloves and you can use latex nitrile or rubber gloves are depending whatever's at hand and the reason for these is because the center core of the coax cable is extremely sensitive so even touching it with your skin can mess up your signal next we'll get the two cables and we'll cross them over and bend them into each other like so also remember that the metal foil that's covering the center make sure it doesn't go anywhere near the pins so bend them in together and twist so twist it around and the same with the other one twist it the opposite way so they lock into each other so when you pull them they won't pull apart so with the little snips just snip off the excess and again on the other one and then pinch in the two pieces tighter in together once they're nice and tight and making sure they're not touching any of the metal just give it a tug and you'll see that it's not going to come apart so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press them down a little bit more and make sure there's no sharp pieces When you're happy that they're good and tight and they're not going to come apart and that there's no foil touching the center then we're using either insulation tape or festive tape whichever you prefer just seal it away from the rest of the cable so it's an insulator and it'll stop it 
making contact with any other metal parts. So just tear that off and run it around. Once that's done, then what you can do is you can fold the shield back over, just push it back where it was and try and get it back into a similar position and make it look a little bit uniform. Using the other one is just pull that back over. Now it would look like you have surplus, but not to worry. The more the better. This will shield against outside interference and it will also stop any leakage from the cable itself. When that's done, then what you can do is for extra safety and using some household foil, just cut it about the same size go so just wrap that around it doesn't have to be very tight or it may not go very tight but with the insulating tape that will take care of that so we have that wrapped around and what we'll do then is again with the insulation tape we'll just start at the edge of the black insulation on the cable and work your way around. Going at an angle so that it will work its way down the cable. Once you get down to the end you can travel back up again. And if you're going to use it outdoors try put the insulation tape on as tight as possible to avoid any water. So, and that's it there and it's a good strong joint. Well thanks for watching and feel free to drop a comment, like, share and subscribe. And you can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, Blogger and Instagram.